Hey everyone, Jessica Shire here and welcome back to my channel. So this month is September, but in the stamping world it is Stamptember. And this is a really fun event put on by Simon's Stamp. And Simon's Stamp did a collaboration with Art Impressions and I got to play with the Nutty and Nice set. So I'm very thankful for that. So if you don't know about Stamptember, real quick, it is a month long event and Simon's Stamp partners with a lot of different companies and they put out these exclusive stamp sets and a lot of them do sell out very quickly. So if you find one that you like, go ahead and jump on that because you might miss out. But these collaborations are always a lot of fun every year. So this stamp set from Art Impressions, the Nutty and Nice set, is really cute. It has these three ladies that are really good friends. They're wearing pajamas. They're eating their fruitcake. I don't think I've ever actually tasted fruitcake before. But as always, this is a really fun stamp set to color. And that is what I'm going to be doing today. So I'm using Nina 80 pound cardstock in solar white and I'm stamping with some Gina K Amalgam ink so I can do some Copic blending, Copic coloring. So I can do some Copic coloring. I'm going to do a quick little mask first. I wanted this plate of fruit cake that these ladies are eating um, to be forward but off to the left hand side. So I stamped that first because I want it to be in the front and I stamped that onto some Inka Dinka Do masking paper and then quickly trim that out. It's not a really hard image to fussy cut. And then I can layer that over the top of my already stamped fruit cake, and then go ahead and stamp the three ladies. And I also add a belt just off to the right, just to kind of add more to my little scene here. So I have the packaging next to me. I know I've said this a lot before in my blog posts, I really like the fact that Art Impressions has a full colored image on the front of their packaging and it gives you like a shading idea. So if you're really not feeling up to figuring out what shading or where your light source is from, you can just follow the packaging. It makes it really super easy and quick. So it's just a good time if you just want to kick back and play around with coloring. This is a very heavy coloring. And I'm going to let you listen to some music while I color and you can just sit back and watch and enjoy. And I'll have the caps of the Copics that I use, hopefully on that top left area. I'm trying to remember to put them there and to put them right side up. That way they're not <laughs> upside down. But if I do miss one or you can't read it, I will have a list of all the Copics I used on my blog post too, which the blog post link is down below in the description box.
so I hope you enjoyed that bit of coloring. So now I can move on to the sentiment for this. I went ahead and I die cut three of the second to smallest hexagons from the Art Impressions hexagon set. And I'm using some Schoolhouse Red Simon Says Stamp cardstock for this. I tried it once and I got it a little crooked, so since I'm going to stack these three, I just grab another one and try again. So you'll never even know that I messed up, except for the fact that I just showed you and told you. I'm going to use some Simon Says Stamp Clear Ink and some Brutus Monroe White Alabaster Embossing Powder using my trusty old paintbrush to, and it's getting pretty worn out, to sweep away any of that embossing powder that kind of stuck in places I didn't want. I did go ahead and use a embossing powder bag. This one is also from British Monroe. It's their refillable one, which does help with the majority of embossing powder that sticks to that cardstock, but sometimes I get a few little flakes here and there. I'm also going to take that other sentiment that says, may your Christmas be filled with stretchy pants and sweet treats, which is a really cute sentiment, but I thought I would use only the part that says, may your Christmas be, and then have that nutty and nice, which I thought was kind of cute. So I go ahead and I stamp the entire sentiment onto a piece of black cardstock using the same alabaster embossing powder. This time though, I take that well-used paintbrush that I have and I sweep away all of the words except for the ones that I want to keep. So I'm only keeping may your Christmas be and that's it. And I kind of made up my own sentiment. So it's just a little more unique, a little more snazzy. <laughs> I'm going to trim that sentiment down and then I'm going to stack my red hexagons on top of each other. And then I can layer that little sentiment strip over the top. And I'm just going to measure that scene that I had already die cut with a, a rounded rectangle die. And I'm going to trim a piece of Simon Says Stamp teal cardstock. I don't remember the actual name. I'll have that listed below, but the, they're really pretty teal cardstock. It's one of my favorite colors along with their schoolhouse red. I also have a piece of MFT black and white polka dot paper. This is from their black and white basic paper pack. I'm going to kind of offset everything to where it's cascading, like layered down cascading to that bottom right hand corner and then add my sentiment on top. I like the black and white polka dots with the black and white sentiment and then that pop of red too with the hexagon and it matches their stretchy pants. To add a bit more shine, I got out my Wink of Stella pen. I haven't used this in quite a while, so I thought I would use it here. And I'm gonna add some glitter to the ribbon on the fruitcake, to any of the bells, stars, uh, ornaments, their earrings, any of those little details that are always in the Art Impression stamps. <clears throat> and then I also take some glossy accents and add that over the top of all the things that I had just used with that glitter pen, plus all of the little fruit cake bits. All right, you guys, that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget that I do have all the information down below in the description box or on my blog post, so make sure to check those out. If you want to see more from me and get notifications, make sure you hit that bell. Subscribe if you have not already. I would appreciate it very much. And if you really like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Meh, meh.